Hey, what's up? It's a Friday afternoon. What are you doing today? I am going to be a judge at the Moot Court uh, Contest at the Supreme Court courtroom up at the Wisconsin State Capitol today. It's a little afternoon and I need to get my act together. I need to read the problem so that I'll be in a position to ask the students some good questions. It's the finals and somebody's going to win this contest. Students come from, I think it's all over the country, to compete in our, our little contest. We have a problem and I need to get up to speed on it because I want to, you know, the students do a great job when they do moot court competitions and it's uh, wonderful to have the opportunity to ply them with questions and give them a chance to show their stuff. You gotta have the good questions, you gotta have the right spirit of the thing. Uh, and I also am charging up the battery on my camera. I'm gonna put the fisheye lens on the camera because I want to get a nice view from the bench of the beautiful Supreme Court courtroom which is part of the Wisconsin State Capitol they have some very nice murals in the courtroom, including a mural that represents the Supreme Court, the Wisconsin Supreme Court's role in the litigation that led to the Supreme Court case Abelman v. Booth, the case in which the United States Supreme Court upheld the fugitive slave law. But before it got um, to the United States Supreme Court, the Wisconsin Supreme Court, this was back in the 19th century, obviously, the Supreme Court uh, of Wisconsin struck it down, struck down the statute as a violation of the, uh, the due process clause. Well, that didn't stick, as you might imagine, but it was a, a chance to see the values of federalism and what, uh, what uh, diverse courts can do with different interpretations of law, if you like a multi-vocal approach to interpreting the meaning of the Constitution. It's interesting to see what the Wisconsin Supreme Court did uh, back in the slave days of the United States history. And so I feel very um, uh, honored to get a chance to be in that courtroom and also to, uh, to meet the students and to uh, be part of a moot court competition, which I know means a lot to students, and I hope to, uh, to make a good contribution to that. And I'll be back later to tell you about it and to... I hope show you some fisheye pictures of the historic state Supreme Court courtroom.